and if you factor that in with the factor of also a cost, in, uh, a salary increase and chemical increase, you'll see that our budget has actually reduced itself year over year for the last two years. So there has been a, an attempt to streamline the budget, uh, the budget already in place. Um, what are some of the other uh, issues that you're seeing? Another one is the meters that, uh, that Jim referenced. When the meters were presented to uh, the council, and of course most of us weren't here at that time, but my understanding is, is when it was presented before council, one of the justifications for the meters is that they would pay for themselves. That there was, that the old meters were inaccurate, and that the new meters would capture gallons of water that were being used by residents that weren't being used, weren't being collected on the old meters. Um, other cities were referenced on how they had put in these programs and how they had paid for themselves relatively quickly. We have seen probably the opposite effect. Uh, our actual, our since the meters have gone in, our uh, our usage numbers have actually been stable or down on a month-to-month -month basis. So the increased revenues that were anticipated by the meters have not been realized. Uh, so I don't know that there's, there's no one to really blame in this scenario. It was uh, in hindsight now it's easy for us to look at it and say it was a bad decision at the time uh, based upon what we know now. Well, industry standards said a water meter should be replaced every 10 to 15 years. Most of ours in the system are 30 to 40 years old. The other uh, problem was getting parts. They had stopped making parts. So when a meter went down, you had to actually buy a meter to replace. So it was getting to the point where, you know, you buy to both buy them all at once. We also did, how many meters did we take out of the system and test? About 50. 50? Yeah. And um, out of those 50 that we tested, I would say 75% of them were running slow. So we did our best decision making and hopefully, you know, it will pay for itself. The third issue is one I already referenced, and that was usage, billable water gallons. Um, the, the information that we had showed a certain average, and the average is what, not, what was not used as far as an expectation of revenue numbers. So the practical use of uh, budgeting for the water department on an annual basis uh, was flawed in the last couple of years because of bad information, uh, bad data. That would be the... That would be the Answer them. Yeah, that's, that's, that's that is that is the answer. That's as far a, as uh, the budgeting, the budgeting allowing for the usage. I mean, the meter is what the meter is. Right. Okay, but the budgeting is based off of not having the history. We just increased the budget of water from three percent, whatever the coal went up, and actually didn't look into the water usage being down. So the to my to my knowledge, then the the meter is not the issue, it's the fact of how we were looking at it for budgetary reasons in the past. Plus we had a big water tower project. That was my fourth issue, was the water tower project. Uh, there was, uh, from what I can tell, there was no real expectation uh, put into place to fund for the debt service that was taken on for the water tower. But probably the biggest issue of the four, to, to really emphasize it, is the meters. Uh, there was money that was borrowed to purchase the meters, and from day and from the month one of receiving the money um, for those meters, we began losing money. And uh, we're here today. Basically, the biggest issue I would see is a result of some uh, of some bad business decisions at that time, based upon faulty information. I've got two quick questions. One is, when you're planning your projections for future, because undoubtedly, and me being a conservative, I'm going to tell my wife to. Need less water when the rates go up. Are you kind of? I'm projecting a two million dollar, two million gallon drop in our usage uh, in, in the system uh, over the next year. People concerned. And yeah. me too. I'm not. You know, I mean, conservation isn't a bad thing. No, I mean, I mean, it's a great thing. But as the public has to realize, we still have a plan to run, and the costs are still there. Yeah, and one thing I would suggest too, you know, there's going to be some question in, in the public's eyes about you know the rates going up and significantly. So, uh, if we could perhaps have it in the paper and perhaps uh, Adam sit down you know, with the uh, paper and with Dale and you know just get all this information together so that the public can understand it, 
and then to have the information here in the city offices and explain to them if anyone wants to come in and see what the dilemma that we have. I, I think the public, once they know what we're faced with and the facts, that they'll be a lot more likely to accept it as opposed to just seeing the big rate increase and going. One of the things I would point out is that this didn't occur in a one month, right. six month. This has occurred in a multiple year progression that uh, this problem has grown over the years. It has somewhat been padded by the fact that we had the debt service money from the bonding of the meters and the fact that, uh, and the fact that there was a reserve that was set inside of the water utility to pay for. And now we so, have a reserve. Uh, no, and uh, yes, and I, cannot, I cannot stress the emergency circumstances of this, uh, of this review. Um, the, the fact of the matter is, is that Sandy and I had done a little bit of looking and that uh, if this issue is not addressed, uh, that within seven to nine years, the water department, uh, the windfall, I'm sorry, the, uh, the shortfall in the water department uh, would basically bankrupt the entire city. Did we apply for a grant when we came to the water tunnel, like the block grant? I, it was a couple of years ago, I, I do not know, I, I know there was debt service so. put to it, but there was no, I, I strongly agree with, with Bill saying putting something in the paper, yeah. letting, know, letting the public know, because, I mean, they were under the impression with this increase from 750 to 775 and $5 to 515 that this was going to cover it, and we're just going right back and saying, hey, it's not. I, I assume that at the time the ordinance was put into place and this year's increase was uh, factored into last year's uh, vote uh, was that it was based upon, of course, last year's expectations, which is you can, we've talked from our whys. We know that they were based upon some poor, uh, poor planning. And the increase in the revenues that you have seen over the last year, two years, would have been also from what was told you would see from the increase of yes. water sold. So right. it wasn't so much looking back and overstating the revenues per se based on how much was sold, but under the impression they were going to recoup so much in gallons that were being lost. A lot of the budget was based upon the expectation that the meters would make a difference. Based, and that was based upon the information that was being provided to the, the old meters were reading less gallons. The, well, based upon what we're seeing is, is they were probably reading pretty much on par with the current meters. And with an increase, perhaps people are already looking at using less water. Well, you know, and I think people have conserved about as much as they can serve. I don't know how much more. I think a lot of people conserved when the meters went in and the rates went up. That's why we're seeing the same readings as we were at the old meters. Probably. I think I, I've seen it at the water plant. Our usage down there has gone down as far as what we're pumping out every year on a yearly basis. Last couple of years we've dropped. We do have the meter test results of the meters that we tested too. And if anybody wants to look at those, we can show them exactly how well, far off each meter was that we tested. And when we have we wet, wet year like we did, that did not help either. The hot, the warmer, hotter weather helps us out a lot too. You know, and we haven't had that this year. And plus, there's a lot of unbuilt water in the community, which everybody has to has to pay for. So, what's the procedure, Adam, for moving ahead with the rating? Is there a public meeting, or is it uh, we, uh, ordinances or third there meetings, is, or what? Our our rates are established through ordinance. So there would be a need for me to amend, to <coughs> present an amended or a new uh, ordinance. And that three readings on that too, or just a ordinance? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, living in a former city that had to, my own water softener, we had to have it because it was the core and the water was hard to rock. Uh, you had to have water softener. I think that around me, probably $20, $25 a month just to solve electricity.